Hello, I'm Coach Bark, and in this video, we're going to build a simple membership website with a custom application form and the ability to receive online payments. We'll be using Wild Apricot to build this website, so if you don't have a trial account yet, be sure to open one as you'll need it to follow along. Let's begin by logging in and navigating to Members and then Levels. This is where you'll be able to set membership fees, subscription periods, renewal policies, and the other benefits that a member of your organization would have. Let's click Add Level and we will create our first membership level. First, we're going to name our level and I'm going to name it Family. I'll tell you why in a moment, but here is where you can select whether this is an individual membership or a bundle membership. An individual membership is your standard single user account. A bundle membership allows multiple users to share a common renewal date and the administrator is the one who will control the billing for that bundle. Since this level is applicable to families, I'll make it a bundle and I'm going to limit it to five users. This means the applicant is allowed to add up to four more users to their account. Now we'll set the price to $50. And then on the right, look for the option public can apply and check it. This will allow any visitor of the site to apply for this membership from your website's form. Leaving it off means this level is available by invite only. Next, let's go over to renewal policies. In the renewal policy tab, you're able to customize renewal policies for any of your membership types. For our family membership example, let's make it renew every year. You'll notice that the system will give you different options on what will happen when a renewal is upcoming or overdue. For this example, let's set that 14 days before the renewal period, it will generate an invoice and email that invoice and reminder to the bundle administrator. Perfect. Now let's go over to new applications. In new applications, you can set the rules for what happens for your new applicants. Options like requiring payment in full or approval before activation can be set. There are tons of options for renewal policy and new applications. And if you have the time, I recommend exploring these on your own. But let's move on with our example by clicking save. And congratulations, we've just set up our first level. Let's set up one more so you get the hang of it. So we'll click add level again. And this time we're gonna create an individual or single type of membership. Let's set the price to $12. And of course, we do want the public to be able to apply. So we're gonna click the public can apply option. Now we'll head to the renewal policy. Once there, let's set it to renew every one year. For now, we'll leave the rest as default, so we'll just click Save. Well done. Now we have our first two levels set up and we can start adding custom fields. Fields are pieces of information you collect from your users. This information can be used to sort, filter, and report on each user in your database. To do this, head to Contacts and then Common Fields. By default, the system includes information like first name, last name, and email, but you can add as many as you like. To add a new field, click Add New Field. The system will then ask what type of field you'd like to add. For this example, let's make it a date field and label it birthday. Then down near the bottom, we will make it so that only other members are able to access this particular piece of information in places like the membership directory. Perfect. Now let's create one more field as practice. We'll click add new field. This time we'll use radio buttons, which allow a user to select from one of many options. We'll label it, do you like pizza? And we'll create the options, yes, no, and sometimes. If you'd like this information to be required, just click the required field option. Once you're done, click Save All Changes. Now that we have our database set up, we can be now begin working on our website. So let's navigate to Website, then Site Pages, and here we can add new pages or edit existing ones. Let's edit the home page. You can do this by selecting the home page and then clicking Edit. 
When editing a site page, you'll be able to make changes to the settings of that page, like the page name, its URL, and its access restrictions. For now, let's explore the gadgets. Gadgets are the building blocks of Wild Apricot site pages. These gadgets tie into your Wild Apricot websites with the settings that you've created in the back end. And the best part is, they're all built right into the program. I'm going to drag the membership application gadget onto my site page. The gadget automatically pulls all of the membership levels we created earlier and puts them on the application form. Looks good, so let's click Save. Next, we'll need to set up our online payments. In order to take online payments via credit card, you'll need to set up a payment processor with your Wild Apricot account. Luckily, Wild Apricot has one built in. To set that up, head back to the database portion, then head to Settings. Head to Payment Settings, and from here, you'll find information on how you can apply to Wild Apricot payments. You can set the credit cards that you're willing to accept, as well as set any general payment instructions that you'd like to appear on invoices. But once we're ready, let's click Save Changes. With that, congratulations! Our first site is all ready and our work is done. Let's take a look at what the public site looks like to double check. At the top right of your account, look for Public View. The public view will show you what your website looks like as if you were a non-admin or a member of the general public. We can see our application form has all of the membership levels we set up earlier. After we select one and we click Next, it will show us some of the fields that we created. So far, so good. Once an applicant has finished filling in the form and provided all of their details, they'll be taken to a screen where they can review their purchase and either pay online or generate an invoice that they can send in with payment later. It looks like our membership site is up and running. Remember, you're able to get help at any time with your Wild Apricot account by clicking on the Help Center at the bottom of the page. The Help Center will let you search the entire help site for any article or topic that you're interested in. And you'll be able to get in touch with our coaches live. Our door is always open. So if there's anything else we can do to give you some guidance or help with your Wild Apricot setup, please just get in touch. All of the coaches are free of charge and we're happy to help. In the meantime, we can't wait to see what you'll do with your site. And I hope you're having fun with your Wild Apricot trial. From Coach Mark and from Wild Apricot and everyone at Personify, thanks for being here. See you soon.